All right, we know many dogs have incredible sense of smells, especially those who used to be in law enforcement or medicine. But what about a canine that can sniff out the creepy crawly bed bugs? A Suncoast company is using dogs to find bed bugs, and it's part of their detection process. And the owner, Michael Levine, is here. All right, Michael, so you brought your dog, Roxy, and I understand you have another one that's going to be, we're going intro to be introduced to later. Correct. Uh, Henry will be doing a demonstration for us later on. All right, so demonstration. This is a little bit uh, unique. Dogs, <laughs> bed bugs. Dogs and yeah. bugs. She's very calm. Roxy is, so yes. we must not have bed bugs in the studio. No. <laughs> to all of well, us. maybe she just got up, she so just, maybe she found something. She heard something. the words looking for that. What does she do yeah, when tell she us sees about bed her. bugs? Well, so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do the demo for, for, for them in a few minutes down there. We'll just exactly be able to show Don't uh, look at me, precisely Roxy. what I they do <laughs> when they have. She's smelling something. How do you something. train them? Let's start with the training. So, How does a dog okay. know to them. Very good. So they were trained actually here in Florida. Um, okay. I, yeah, I met someone who then became my boss through a friend uh, in 2010, and he sent me down to Safety Harbor, Florida, here, mm -hmm. where Henry was being trained at the facility. He was there for, I don't know, a few months. I don't know the exact time frame. Mm -hmm. And I flew down, and we both got certified and, you know, trained. And then in I bed bug detection. In bed bug detection. Because uh, he's been training dogs for 30 years okay. for the police department, as you mentioned earlier. And uh, mole dogs and termite dogs. There's a lot of dogs out there now being trained for different things. Really? Okay. Bed bugs has become very large in the last decade or so. That was my next question. How big of an issue is this? It's because growing. Okay. It's growing. It's getting worse and worse. It's getting bigger down here, which is one of the reasons why we moved here about a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, New York is definitely a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. And, you know, Tri-State as well. We did a lot of jobs out there. We did probably over 5,500 inspections up there. Wow. All right. Uh, well, with I've Henry and Roxy. Sorry. Well, are there certain areas in a house you target? I figure the bedroom the bed. is where the bed is. You would think that, believe it or not. It's always where you sleep. I don't know. I always tell this to everybody. It's an incorrect name, bed bugs. They used to be called traveling bugs. They travel with you. They stick onto a piece of cloth or oh. something, and then they get, you know, you go to a hotel, and then you, God forbid, bring mm. one back home. So, and if you end up sleeping on your couch every night, they'll be couch bugs. They don't necessarily have to be. I've found them, unfortunately, in many different scary places. Oh, no. So they, they, they can be on wood. The only things they won't go on maybe is glass or, or you know, stuff like that. But they're usually so found. So everything but glass bugs. Near us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everything but glass bugs. They should be called, yes. Can you see them? Um, yeah, the problem is is when you only have one or two. We're not we're not talking about a, a problem case. Okay, we're talking about a hotel that uh, found one and is looking, and they don't see any others. They need to call us because we'll come in and we'll be able to do that room and tell them if there's even one small one hiding mm -hmm. or an egg, which is almost microscopic, wow. nearly impossible to so see. That's yeah. a good question. So where in the process, obviously, if I see a bed bug, I know I have them, so I right. wouldn't need the dog. Mm -hmm. Where else would you bring the dog into the process? Well. First, it's not so obvious because you may have found one in one room and then you look the rest of the house and you don't know if you have any more and in what rooms they're in. So oh. if you have a few rooms in the house or whatever, you have, you know, upstairs, downstairs. So we come in, I had this woman, she had an apartment upstairs where her son stayed and then she had two floors in her house. So she was worried about hers because her son had them. So mm. we knew he had them, but we had to go to her place mm -hmm. and check her house and she was good in almost all the rooms except one that her friend stayed in. So oh, yeah. this is right. This is how it would start spreading. So for us to come in there with a dog, we can give you the areas now that have the issue. So then we can, in turn, send this over to the pest control guys, mm -hmm. who, by the way, we target pest control companies. What that means is I'd rather work with a pest control guy because they, they utilize us as a tool in their belt, so to speak. Okay. Instead of sending a human down and getting only 30% accuracy yeah. today, mm -hmm. they can send in the dogs and they get 99% accuracy for inspections. And then we in turn, send that back over to them to treat. I think this concept so, is so amazing, but yeah. how did you get into this? Because it doesn't seem like a regular <laughs> no, business. To no, just, no, she could it's smell a, bugs. It's a funny story, but uh, in short, I mean, I met you know, one of my you know mutual friends who introduced me to the my boss, and he goes like, "You want to you know you want to work for me?" I said, "What do you do?" He said, "I have a dog that finds bed bugs," and I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said. Uh, <clears throat> Well, I'll send you to Florida, and you know he'll pay for the trip, and you bring a dog back. All I heard was Florida and a dog, and, <laughs> I, like, yeah, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm in, you know. And, uh, um, and, and it was it was scary and weird, you know, at first, and uh, we were thrown right into the fire because we were. He was like, okay, go check this place, and I was like, uh, well, what well, speaking of the fire, we want to see how this whole thing works. Yeah. So we want to yeah. throw your dog right yeah. in, yeah, and sure. we want to see how so it we'll works. So we'll take care too. of Roxy, yeah. and Hold we'll on get to, to her your other well, coworker. You got it. Me. I know. You might have something. Cute. <laughs> oh yeah, right. It's a cute it's dog. Really? So Perfect. now we get to meet one of yeah. your other coworkers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. 
So it looks like, is that a questions. uniform? Introduce who you've got with you. Well, this is Henry. Henry's my little baby, because he was my first dog. Oh. And he's been with me through thick and thin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, um, sorry, do I have that good? Okay. Great. So, so you, I see you've got a big, uh, yeah, it looks like a fairy. Yeah. Okay, a, a so what you. we have here, the reason why I put the pouch on is because, uh, sorry, because um, this is where we keep the food. And uh, what we have here is a little training wheel that we'll do at home every day just to keep him maintained and sharp and focused. Um, in the wheel, we have six arms. One of them will have dead bed bugs. One of them will have some carpet beetles, roaches, etc. some other things that you might find in a household. And what we'll want from Henry is basically for him to pass all the other ones and just keep reminding him to stop on the live bed bug one. Oh. Okay. So I wouldn't mind stopping on the roaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can, can we uh, teach them that too? Henry, what's that, buddy? Henry, seek. Henry, Henry, what's that, buddy? It's Henry. like duck, duck, goose. Henry, seek. Henry, come on, seek. Henry, what's that, buddy? Henry, seek. Henry. Oh. oh. What? Show me. Yeah, good oh, boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Show me. Good boy. Yes, good boy. Yes, good job. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Good boy. All right, Very well, you guys can get job. more information about bed bug canine experts by going to their website. And next, helping out, Jazz, we have some last minute Father's Day gift ideas. We'll be right back. <laughs> That's amazing.